Hey, welcome back to the Marvel and DC Theorist and Marvel and DC Explained. And if you're new here, welcome. Let's get into it. Y'all see we got the freaking Future Foundation. Fantastic War run by Hobby. We're not here to geek out and talk about that. We're here to react to the new episode that just dropped. If I can't reach you, let my song teach you. Without further ado, let's get into this episode that is 44 minutes long. If I can't reach you, let my song teach you. I wonder if it's going to go down. Why would I start this like that, dude? PTSD. R.I.P. Kitty, man. Mm -mm. I promise you, that made me immediately want to watch that 70s show. No way. Cab, dude. Cab. I call Cab. R.I.P. Mrs. Hart. She. Allison Tane are kindly digging a grave for her. Mrs. Hart daggering callous. Press the fact that they're like literally burying Mrs. Hart in the background, dude. Pure savage. Pure savage. Pure savage. Joe Locke would have the spell book out of all characters. I love this shot. Beautiful shot. Extra. Nah, dude, over here, Sansa spells and stuff. Oh, there goes our guy Wiccan. Can't wait to see Joel Locke transform into the freaking Wiccan suit. And also, if y'all watch my video, I'm not trying to spoil a lot of stuff, dude. Joel Locke's character, the way that they blended it in, so it, it was pretty cool. It was pretty cool and smart the way they uh, nailed it with, uh, how can I pretty much put this without like spoiling, uh, spoiler, okay. Basically with this character, he is Wanda's son, um, but adopted son technically or biological, he's like the Nicholas Scratch character um, or something like that. It's, it's wild, it's wild, but um, yeah, which is real, man. Wanda is apparently supposed to make an appearance in Aubrey Plaza. This is also confirmed. She's Lady Death, dog. Like the person that 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 Thanos was head over heels for. Love that you know. If you know about comics, you know. Now I'm geeking out, sounding like Rob. Shout out to Rob from Comics Explain, dude. If y'all know with Lady Death and her relationship with Thanos. With Thanos, okay, it, it goes freaking. It's crazy, all right. It's freaking crazy. Love this. I love this scene. Oh, this shot right here is chills. I cannot wait to get oh, Lady Death. When we're gonna get the Lady Death confirmation? Um, episode like what seven, maybe? Maybe. Mephisto Easter eggs, maybe. Or maybe I'm just overshadowing thinking that. Who knows? <laughs> what the heck? Not all of them going through the exact same thing. Wow. Okay. Oh, snap. Not the witches. Hey, okay. Nah, she said, keep playing. The show must go on. Water, earth, and air. Okay. Riches row. Hey. Down the witches row. Down the witches row. Hey. Oh no, that's a Mephisto stuff. Demon spawn of a, a Mephisto. Oh, what? What? What, what an episode, y'all. Um, I don't, I don't really know too much how I feel about this episode. It definitely felt very fillerish, in my opinion, personally. Definitely can see the hints and nods to Aubrey Plaza's character being Lady Death, that obviously has ties to Thanos are we going to get some like callbacks to you know like a scene with her and Thanos back in the day I don't know maybe or it could be like an well 
can't be an alternate universe Thanos because we got Agatha, you know, and we know she exists in the Earth 616 or whatever. So maybe we might get a call back to uh, her and Thanos or maybe her and Thanos never even met um, in the 616 in this live action because, you know, Marvel loves to do their own take, different take and spin on comic characters and whatnot. Anyways, though, um, this episode, I thought we were going to get the reveal of, like, Wiccan's character. Well, Joe Locke's character being titled Teen, which is literally um, Billy Maximoff, you know, the reincarnated version of um, Wanda's son, uh, the sorcerer, right? But the way Marvel's going to, like, play this out, this whole entire spin and twist, is that... He also will be revealed that he's Agatha's son, Nicholas Scratch. So Marvel loves to do double whammies like that, which is kind of interesting. And apparently from the leaks out there, Wanda might actually make her appearance in this finale of this season. Well, for this you know season and this uh, episode nine, whenever that drops around Halloween, October, I think October 30th. So the day before Halloween is when the finale airs. Um, but yeah, this was just a little quick breakdown and ending explain over episode four, uh, which was, uh, I forgot the title of it uh, already. We just talked about that at the very beginning of this video. But anyways, though, enough of me ranting. I'm going to catch you on this video live stream. Let me know your thoughts down below.